am Justine here in Columbus, Ohio at the Call of Duty North America Championship presented by Xbox. We have teams here from the US, Mexico, and Canada all competing for a prize of $10,000. Plus, advancing teams will be headed to Los Angeles for the World Championship. The competition here is insane. Let's check it out. I'm here with TP from Optic. So now you've seen the competition change over the past few years leading up to COD Champs. How was it different this year? I think the level of competition here, especially at the NA Regionals, is just a lot higher than we've seen in years past. The EXO movement brings new verticality to the map, so pro players as a whole just need to be a lot more well-rounded players in order to remain at the top. So do you think there's a chance that a non-US team might win COD Champs this year? I really don't think so. Uh, we've seen in years past that other parts of the world just can't really compete with us here in the US. All right, well, thank you so much. Now let's head over to Chris Puckett for a recap of the event. Thanks, Justine. It was business as usual on day one as we saw all of our top teams really showing off their strength. But day two, we saw our first surprise of the event as Team Revenge, with some of the best teamwork of the entire tournament, taking down Denial in a surprise 3-0. Oh. Oh, oh my God. God! But on day three, it was all about Optic. Throws it up. He's got Teep in front of him. Teep with the gun oh. with five seconds left. First Optic Nation taking out Envy in an incredible series. After that, with the money on the line, it was Optic Gaming performing at the peak of their level. We saw them taking out Phase Red after dropping just game one. They turned it on after a Crim 6 1v3 in SD. And we are going to see Crim. He's oh. got to go, Yuju. He's got it. Oh, Did the defuse go off? No, Crim 6 just wow. went massive for Optic Gaming. From there, Denial had a chance to go up against Optic for the North American crown, and it was all Optic. The 3-0 was completed with Crim6 showing off why he is considered one of the best in-game leaders. Scumpy, the top SMG player, Formal, the best with the AR, and Nadeshot, one of the top objective players in the game. All right, Chris Bucket here with the North American Champions. We have Optic Gaming, another incredible performance. Nadeshot, you took out Denial here for the North American title. How do you feel now entering Worlds? Feel really good. I mean, we have the first seed, so that's going to be a huge advantage. Everyone's just playing so well right now, and we're really confident going into Worlds, and we're looking forward to it in a couple of weeks. Let's take it to Formal now. How do you feel you stack up against the rest of the Worlds competition? Um, honestly, I think we're just, you know, the most confident team in the game right now. I think we're going to do great at Worlds. Congratulations once again here at the North American Championship. Make sure to check out Optic Gaming as we head to LA for the fight for a piece of the million dollar prize pool. What an exciting end to the North American Finals here in Columbus, Ohio. Congratulations, Optic Gaming. All 32 teams from around the world have now qualified for the COD Champs in LA. Be sure to watch on March 27th through the 29th on Xbox. And for all the news about Call of Duty Championship, go to callofduty.com slash esports, and I will see you guys in LA.